What's up everybody, it's Olivia here. For breakfast, um, I had a cheese bagel. I was gonna have an everything bagel, but it was moldy. Luckily, while I was in the shower, um, my parents got new bagels uh, from the store. They came home from the store and they had new bagels, so I'm happy about that. So I had a cheese bagel uh, with some coffee for breakfast. Uh, and then for lunch at around 1 p.m., I had um, some salsa and chips, some chips and salsa. Um, and that was pretty good. Uh, the salsa is made locally. We got it at a farmer's market it's in like a mason jar. It's very nice. It, it's like really, really, really good salsa. Um, and yeah, for dinner, I'm probably going to be having my sister's mac and cheese. So I'm pretty happy about that. Right now, my parents out uh, are out visiting some family friends. So yeah, we got our Hyundai back, which was stolen, which sucked. Uh, but now we have a club on the um, steering wheel, which I've heard doesn't do much, but, um, you know, the whole, I feel like the whole attraction toward stealing Hyundais and Kias is partly the speed of it. You can do it very quickly and easily, and I feel like, um, you know, seeing the club on the steering wheel of the car sort of, you know, it, say what you will about its effectiveness, but it will t make it take longer to steal the car, right? So I, I have a feeling that if a thief were to come up and look at it, it, it might not be as worth it um, or as like efficient of a decision uh, to steal our car when compared to other Hyundais and Kias um, that don't have clubs on them. We also um, put an air tag in the car, so it should be able to track it better. Uh, we should be able to track it better. Uh, we had one in the glove box, but I don't think it was charged or something. I don't know. Uh, something cool though was I was able to get the speaker out of it. My dad tried doing it, but he got kind of spooked, which makes sense considering each air tag is like $25. Um, but I just got my knife and um, you're able to, something nice about air tags is you're, it, it's powered by a coin battery and you could just take it out and put a new one in. It lasts like a year. Um, but um, once you take the coin battery out, you can actually pry open the plastic housing and then you can sort of see the PCB of the air tag. Um, and then there's just a speaker right in the middle, right? And the speaker is useful for like finding it if you lost something in your house. Uh, but for tracking an object, it's not necessarily ideal uh, because if it recognizes an iPhone is constantly following this AirTag around, it's like, hey, if this AirTag is not open, it is not owned by this iPhone's Apple ID, we're gonna have it do a beep sound just so then like this person isn't being tracked, you know? Uh, Cause it's this, AirTag is following this person, and this person doesn't own this AirTag, so obviously they don't want to be tracked. Uh, and that's good, I'm sure 99% of the time, it prevents stalking and stuff, but in the specific scenario of tracking a car, which is what not what AirTags are for, um, it's kind of bad. Uh, so you're able to pry out the speaker, uh, so then it can't make any noise, um, and we put it in a hidden location on the vehicle. Uh, so hopefully, if our car ever gets stolen again, despite the club, uh, we should be able to find it a lot faster. Um, so that's good. Um, yeah, nothing else is really going on. I worked on some scorecard today. I did seven modules for my A-plus class and they were all very, very easy. Um, tomorrow I might do my Linux class stuff, which I might do because I have a project, but I also might do my fiber optics class stuff and that also seems kind of easy. Uh, after the midterms, everything seems like kind of not hard. Um, maybe the decreased workload is to account for people preparing for finals. Uh, but I'm not too sure, uh, you know, yeah, you know, I don't know. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I'm probably gonna play some Terraria now. I got hibernation working on my computer. I'm really happy about that. Um, on my computer, I tried doing hibernation the same way I did hibernation on my, on my laptop. Um, but I realized that I, 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 doing hibernation today made me realize that the way that my swap is set up on this computer versus the way my swap is set up on this laptop is way different. On this laptop, I have a swap file and I had to like 
specify like the block that the um, swap file was in, right, on the on the disk. Um, but on my computer, I have a swap partition. Um, so it, it, it just, it was, a, it was a lot simpler. I just had to point to the swap partition. Um, and on the last one I pointed to, I tried also pointing to the block device, but there wasn't a block device to point to. So there wasn't a block to point to that had a swap file because there wasn't a swap file, there was a swap partition. Um, I am honestly very skeptical <laughs> that um, I need a swap. Uh, when I was doing this installation, I was very, 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 uh, apprehensive on having swap on my computer. Um, I'm sure at some point in my life I'll run into a scenario where it's like, oh, thank God I had a swap file, but I've been using Linux for five years. My swap file has always been at 0% usage. I don't really see the point. But, um, you know, it's recommended everywhere to use swap, so I I'm gonna keep using it. Um, there are people much smarter than me who have, I'm sure, much better reasons to use swap um, so I'm just going to trust the experts on that one, but, um, you know, from my personal experience, uh, swap just seems like a very silly and unnecessary thing, uh, and it just doesn't make any sense. Uh, but, yeah, except for hibernation, I guess. Uh, but, yeah, I hope everybody has a great day, and, uh, yeah, see you, dude.